Space to Engage is a collaboration between three libraries, Tony Cook, Media Ship and the Young People from the Ship Project. The young people have spent time at Hereford, Lempster and Ross libraries, using the whole of the buildings as inspiration for their writing and art. Into that mix we've added a poet, a visual artist, drama, film and photography practitioners and a dancer. Our aim is to highlight the unique features and contents of each place to provoke a creative response that builds confidence and skills. But more importantly, we want to build relationships between the young people in the libraries so that they feel that this is their space, a welcoming, safe space that's meaningful to them. Space to engage. In Hereford Library, much was discovered. Fear and laughter rang out as John guided us from basement to the roof. Inspired by our surroundings, we began to create and write. With Access All Areas, we took photographs of the whole library and what it meant to us. Today has been really good. We've been taking photographs in the abandoned places in the library. It's been really exciting. We've also been experimenting with different lights and shadows and creating really good effects. This project has been very different to any other project that I've done uh, in the past with Shift. We've taken a space and explored the space and then wrote poems about the space. It has been completely bizarre, we didn't know what we were going to get each week and that completely opened up a whole new creative flair in me. The whole project overall has been really, really thought out and excellent. It's given me the opportunity to learn new skills and to learn about new topics and to do a lot of creative writing and to express myself in different ways. I've been coming here since the start of the project and I like it. This is the first time I've ever done poetry really, doing this project. And I've found it's been really good for me because it's good to be able to express yourself through spoken word. I've discovered a skill I never had before. Well, I never thought I had. Today we are here at Hereford Library performing our poems and our photography has gone up too. I feel a little bit nervous as it's the first time we've read them to people who aren't the librarians who we've wrote about. But I think it's going to be good. All the people that have wrote the poems are absolutely excited to get them out there and it'd be good for people to hear what actually is going on in the library and the fact that it's more than just these books. What a great evening, it was a pleasure to see so many people here tonight. I'm really happy about how the project went. It was really emotional to build our connection towards what we have written. I just think it's so inspirational. It's been good and I loved it. Performing tonight was an eye-opener for me because before we did this project I never knew that I could stand up in front of all these people and perform stuff that I've written. It was amazing. Tonight was really great. A lot of people showed up, I was actually terrified, but I got through it and now I feel a lot better. I'm glad it's all over. All the performances were spoken really clearly, all the pictures were displayed really well and I think the audience gave like a really good reaction. Parkour and Lampster Library. Angela told us about librarians speeding around on office chairs. We knew we had to do it. We wrote poems and the Song of Lempster Library with Johnny Fluffy Punk and laughed a lot. Made films and created portraits with Rich and Kai.
E, energy gravel. E, essence of space travel condensed into beverage form. You're my profound grounds. You're my make me louder powder. You're my heavenly ebony pickup juice. Being part of the Space to Engage project has just been absolutely fantastic. It was fun. <laughs> it was. It really was, wasn't it? Yeah, especially the parkour. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to do it again. Yeah, I just loved everything about it, like the creativity side of things and just being able to explore it in more depth. Being able to write dark poetry as well. Yeah, and being able to get away with it. You will never know what I'm thinking about as I watch your lips move. So we've just performed at Lancaster Library, terrifying, but I'm glad it's over. Starting to read, time passes by like you have been there for two minutes. I felt nervous to start with, but as soon as everything got set up, everyone was sat down, I was feeling scared. As soon as I'd done my first poem, I felt relieved, I felt excitement, I felt, yes, I can do this. Feel more relaxed, chilled out, happy with myself. She notices me taking in the scene that just played out in front of me. It was scary, but I'm really glad I'd done it. Steve welcomed us to Ross Library, which was basically a construction site at the time. It was fun to watch it change around us as we wrote. Taking turns on the potter's wheel, we made clay pots and then a gigantic book exploring what the library means. We decided to do some parkour in Ross Library, mainly because there's a big ramp and we decided to glide down on wheelie chairs, which was really fun. We did it in Nempster and we just had to do it here. <laughs> So I'm John Williams from Eastern All Pottery and I've uh, been working with the uh, young people here in the library and we've been taking turns on the potter's wheel, making pots which will take away and fire and glaze. As well as doing that we've been making a collaborative piece of work in the form of a tile panel in the shape of a book with an explosion of different shapes coming out of it and again that's going to be part of the exhibition. We found out that Ross was actually originally known as the land of the hedgehogs, so we created a hedgehog-inspired pot. On the outside of Ross Library, there's a giant mosaic relating to Ross. We've managed to come up with some titles for the pictures on it, and we managed to write some poems. young people of SHIP, they're just inspiring and truly creative people. I've created a piece of artwork for each of the locations, inspired by their poetry, by their words, by them as people and inspired by the three buildings. It's been incredible how the young people's writing and confidence has developed over the three projects. The quality of their creative writing has been fantastic, but their ability to communicate their ideas and to respond creatively to the stimulus has been fantastic. I've done the project in Hereford, Lemister and now Ross. I come every week because I really enjoy it. I enjoy creative writing and just coming up with new things. So I travel from Lempster to Ross to do the project just because I really enjoy it. What's been delightful and amazing and wonderful and moving about this project has been the way that the young people have responded to the spaces they've been in, all the different things they've picked up on depending on where they are, the way they've led the project, making films. The poetry they've come up, we've been moved to tears, we've laughed, they've laughed, they've had fun, they've been so creative and the way that they've interacted with everybody involved in the project as well. And I think certainly here in Ross today, the way that they've come on, the progress they've made from those beginning weeks in Hereford when they started out, and the writing that they're producing now, and the way it's progressed, the way it's developed, it's beautiful, really beautiful, and it just shows how far they've come and how they've taken this project and they've really run with it. They've produced beautiful poetry, they've produced stunning artwork. The films have been absolutely amazing. They are funny, 
they are endearing, the effect that the library has had on them. They've all written poems about what the library means to them, what the library means to other people. And you can see that that's really had an impact on them. And it's had an impact from us, seeing them respond to us and to the space. We never anticipated when we started this project that some of the young people might say, I want to write a novel, I want to be a poet. But we've created a whole new raft of new artists who want to kind of make their own mark on the world. I'm so proud of their achievements and I think they've been such great advocates for SHIP to show that what positivity there are in our young people. Poems and prose have been written. Performances have been given. Led by Tony, we have written so much about weird, random, but also meaningful things. We have reassessed what a library is, who it is for, and what it stands for. It's so much to so many.